What's going on, guys? Trey coming back at your screen by means of the World Wide Web with part two of our prize highlights. So let's go ahead and get right down to the fighters here to see who we're going to be considering. Um, first, we're going to be starting with Rosalda. So this is probably our single de Mayo dancer here. So uh, with the big flowy dress and the long black hair, she's just dancing and prancing about. So let's break her down, guys. Um, she is going to be a earth guru. So she's definitely going to have the wisdom and the agility for sure. She's an all-target guru, Meyer all adept, wisdom based, of course, with a cooldown of one. It is an earth spell. Um, to get down to her off-edge stats, she has 2071 HP, 1455 attack, 939 defense, 5953 wisdom, and 5669 agility. For a total stat base of 16,087. So this is actually a pretty decent all-target guru, guys. If you are into all-target gurus, then this one's actually not a bad option. Um, I personally am not into all-target gurus. I don't too much like them, guys. So this fighter isn't really going to do me any good. And for those who feel the same way I do, you're probably going to be using this one for Superfuse fighter. And if you were to do that, you would get yourself 714 Wisdom, which is definitely a considerable amount. Or you could use Agility and get 680 Agility. So both would do whoever you superfuse it to a world of good. Um, definitely make them a better fighter in that regard. Whichever stat you decide to use, it get a nice boost to it. So um, that's basically all we got for Resorta, guys. Another single target or all target guru with a one cooldown. Pretty high wisdom, though. So she'll hurt whoever she hits, that's for certain. Okay, the next fighter we're going to be talking about here is Yaguaris. Um, I really like this guy's look. Big bulky, carrying his little animal there on his shoulder. <laughs> so this guy looks like a um, hunter or something of the sort with all the fur and stuff he's wearing. But anyway, let's get down to um, what this guy's all about here. He is an air champ. So definitely got the HP, the attack, the defense. I'm um, coming in pretty high. So if we were to break them down, guys, this guy has 5139 HP, 5878 attack, 3150 defense, 741 wisdom, and 985 agility for a total stat base of 15,893. So Gust All Adept, All Target Champ, based off of attack with a big old three cooldown, guys. So that number there basically just means this guy is super fuse fodder. That's basically what it means, guys. Um, although he is not too, too terrible statistically, um, that three cooldown really isn't going to be of use to you because honestly, in a pretty brutal fight, he may not even last long enough to get that off. So um, yeah, this guy is pretty much super fuse fodder, guys. And if you were to do that, you will likely want to use HP, which you would get 616 of, or you would want to use attack, which you would get 705 of. So pretty nice high superfuse fodder here in this guy here, guys. Um, pretty much besides that, he doesn't really serve too much of a purpose, honestly. So um, if you get him, superfuse him. <laughs> All right. Last but not least, we have Rudo here. So, um, Rudo, I am guessing, is going to be a Lightning Warlock. So, he's going to have the attack and the wisdom, and the HP is so so. And he actually has a pretty decent amount of agility for a Warlock as well. So, let's get down to the stats off of the edge 3846 HP, 5393 attack. 1175 defense, 3450 wisdom, and 1561 agility for a total stat base of 15,425. So, Shock Elite single target with a cooldown of two. Shock is based off of attack, lightning element type moves. So, um, 
yeah once again guys this guy's probably going to be super fuse fodder i'm pretty sure you guys have noticed the trend by now um yeah pretty much every fighter in this event guys unless you're just starting out is going to be super fuse fodder honestly there's just nothing in this entire event really worth keeping and using um i guess if i had to pick one it would probably be our all target guru up here um she probably would have the most use as a fighter you would keep but um other than that eh, nothing too impressive here so rudo here um yeah nothing too special guys the best thing you can do with him honestly is use him for super fuse fodder for attack and if you were to do so you would get 647 attack which is once again a nice amount of attack i like that number so he would definitely be good for that um other than that Turning the bitters, turning the nucks, trade them away. That's about your only other options besides superfusing this guy, guys. Sorry. Um, only beginners should be worried about any of this stuff in here. So, this dungeon, you don't want to keep nothing, guys, honestly. All superfused fodder. Now, let's get up out of here and head on over to where I can show you guys the fighters that we're going to be comparing them to. So, the first one we are going to be comparing is going to be Rosada, our all target guru and the one that I wanted to compare her to as we navigate our way over is humana 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 where are you at mm, here we go bingo right here I thought that Wilden Rose was a pretty close comparison our Sula Grand recolor here so, um, these guys are really close fighters, and Wilder Rose is an old fighter, guys. She came out many, 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 many events ago, but um, she's still pretty decent. So, if we were to compare these two, um, they're both Earth Gurus. They both have Meyer All Adept, and they both have a cooldown of one. So, they are similar in all of those regards. Um, but we, if we were to break down the stats... Um, Rosara is better in every category guys 230 more HP 163 more attack 104 more defense 660 more wisdom and 627 more agility for a total stat base difference of approximately 1800 so um yeah um, if you're using Wilden Rose, you definitely want to upgrade to this newer one here, guys. Um, she is besting Wilden Rose in every stat, in every category, and everything else. Um, she is just overall the better fighter. So if this is what you are using, guys, um, go ahead and upgrade the resource. She's actually worth the upgrade if you're able to do it. Um, if you don't want to keep your Wilden Rose or perhaps Superfuser, you can sell it off and upgrade to Rosara, and you will not be disappointed with your choice. Not at all. Alright, the next one, um, I tried to compare as close as I could. Um, it's not really the best comparison, one I probably wouldn't do usually. But I still decided to go ahead and compare this guy. Yagu Iris here, or however you say his name. And the one I decided to compare him to is right here. Our Mummy Wreck Mirror. So, um, both the air champs both have the gust all with the cooldown of 5 3. But um, if we were to get down into the statistics, um, our new guy here, Yaguaris, is the better fighter. So, break down the statistics um, Yagu Aris has 620 more HP, 712 more attack, 380 more defense, 89 more wisdom and 119 more agility guys for a total stat based difference of 1920 so that is definitely a substantial gap guys if you are using wreck mirror um, get rid of her if you are still using her go ahead and upgrade to Yaguaris if you want to um, if you're using wreck mirror there's really no reason besides the fact that you aren't able to afford it that you would not want to upgrade and have the better fighter so um other than that, super fuse fodder anyway. <laughs> but um, like I stated, if you're using the mummy, do yourself a favor and upgrade. This guy is better overall than her. And last, last but not least, we are going to be comparing our final, final fighter for this event. So.
so let's go ahead and navigate our way over to who we're comparing them to once again not really the greatest of comparisons but really didn't have many other options guys so um, limited in options with this comparison as well as the previous one but we will still be comparing them nonetheless closest one I could find here right here guys asteriscos so um, or asteriscos however you want to say it Sether, Sether recolor so um both the warlocks guys both have shock elite 4-2 cooldown um, so to break down the stats here um, Rudal has 557 more HP 1247 more attack 87 more defense Asterikos has 332 more wisdom and Rudal has 839 more agility for a total stat based difference of 2418 in Rudal's favor so um, if you're using Asterikos Definitely want to get rid of him. Um, he's super fused fodder. And even though Rude Dial is super fused fodder as well, there may still be those out here who are using Asterikos. If you are, do yourself a favor and upgrade to Rude Dial. He's much, much, much better fighter than this guy is. Um, even though Asterikos has the wisdom, um, wisdom, unless you got a piece of gear on him that's using that, will probably hardly play a factor in this guy's stats at all. Um, his HP is so low. Any guru that hit him upside the head is just going to chomp him right down one hit. So, um, yeah, Wisdom ain't going to play too big of a difference in this guy. So, um, there we have it, guys. Part 2 of our Pinata Bash Prize Highlights. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Please continue to like, subscribe, favorite, share, comment, and everything else. And I will be back at your screen with more, guys. So, thanks for watching. Later.